The reason is because uh, if you look your Eastern shower rating, you can be able to see for a 20 amperes water heater switch to be used is too small to withstand such kind of a road. So this is the size of the DP switch, which is recommended uh, for the instant shower. Geotech Electrical Contractor Limited YouTube channel where we learn through practicals and to our clients and developers. This is a channel where we showcase our work. In our today's video, I want to show my fellow young electricians, students, and uh, the electricians who are in the field but they have been doing things long. I want to show you how to wire a DP switch or a DP water heater switch, okay? And uh, we have two sizes of uh, DP switches or water heater switch, which are commonly used. We have one which is 45 amperes and we have another one which is 20 amperes this is 45 amperes as you can see uh, and uh, this is what strictly you should use uh, to wire your instant shower okay the reason is because uh, if you look your instant shower rating you can be able to see for a 20 amperes water heater switch to be used is too small to withstand such kind of a road so this is the size of the dp switch which is recommended uh, for the instant shower and uh, talking of this switch uh, it is called a DP switch because uh, literally the way you can say a DP switch is is a switch which control two circuits at the same time. So its work is to uh, break or to cut uh, the flow of the current from the upper side uh, to downside eh? or from the upper side to lower side. So whenever you switch it on, uh, let me say on, uh, it will light. It has a neon light here that shows you have connected uh, or you have switched it off. Or, I mean, I have switched it on. Whenever you put it off, the neon light also goes off. So where you switch it on, you connect the current or the power uh, from one side to the other okay without further ado allow me to show you how to wire these 45 amperes dp water heater switch okay come with me so from our box uh this is the switch box and this was provided here uh during the pre prastary uh, conduit work, okay? So, first thing, like I always say, uh, safety first, and uh, then the second thing to put in consideration is you must make sure that your switch box is clean, because if in case this switch is faulty and needs to be replaced, and uh, this house by that time will be occupied, you don't have to come and start whenever you open the, the, the switch and then the debris or the 
uh, you know, all those uh, uh, trusts start falling down in someone's uh, greenhouse. So the first thing you should do as an electrician before you make the terminations is to clean this box to make sure that it is in a position, you know, for the termination to take the uh, the process. So we start by terminating our DP switch. I have said this is 45 amperes. And if you look 45 amperes and uh, 20 amperes, you realize that 45 is bigger, unlike 20. Okay. So in our switch, we have rod and we have the supply. Supply means these are the cables that are coming from the consumer unit or uh, from the uh, from uh, the fuse, uh, fuse box. So we have neutral and we have life. This is the supply. Then we have earth. We have a uh, road uh, live out. We have neutral out. This is the road, and then we also have earth. So we start with uh, like I have said, safety pass. We start with the uh, terminating the earth or the ground. We have our wires here, and this is the earth. Uh, earth wires are always uh, green with yellow stripes. Then we have rife, which is lead in color, and we have the neutral, which is in black color. So we start with uh, our earth. So I'm going to start with earth, and uh, earth, I'm assuming I'm going to start with the well i'm going to start with the supply and my supply cables are here when you are drawing the cable as an electrician you must be able to put a mark to distinguish the road and the supply so if you look my cables this cable or this wire is marked this is to a differentiate between the supply and the road so i'm going to start with the well, let me start with the road, and uh, this is my road. Uh, here we go. To avoid uh, uh, rules connection, uh, or to avoid a situation whereby this DP switch can become faulty, make sure that uh, your cables have been terminated and screws driven in family or make sure that you tighten these screws to avoid a uh, rules connection from the dp switch whenever the user of the shower instant shower will be using so we start by art and uh, what you are going to do is you strip your cable and then make sure you backfold it so I have said we are going to start with the road. This is my road, and uh, yeah, this is the new. Uh, this is the earth. I have my neutral and I have my life. So what I'm going to do is that uh, I'll start with earth, and uh, here we go. This is my earth uh, road earth. And from uh, earth for ground, I go to neutral. As you can see, I'm terminating uh, the road. So from my earth, uh, the next wire to terminate is neutral. And if you experience any problem, while doing your termination, you must make sure that you have dealt with it before you screw in or you drive in your screw like this. Then the last wire is the live wire. I'm done with road, then I go to uh, supply, and again I start with earth, this is my earth, I 
what you should do or not from my wires is that I I I have drawn uh, three cables for subscribe and three cables for road. You don't have to compromise whereby you have to draw one wires unless uh, you have a consumer like this one whereby you can draw one up, up to here and then uh, you make a joint or you terminate the earth from the consumer up to where the road which is the uh, instant shower will be terminated okay so my wires are three of them this is my supply i mean load and then my supply make sure you have drawn all the wires and then i'm, I'm, I'm through with that that is i'm through with earth let me terminate the neutral and here is my neutral to avoid having too long wires in the or inside the switch box uh, the wires that can make or give you some problem while uh, putting your switch in the box you're supposed to trim them to a height or to a size to a size whereby uh, the wires can fit in the switch box properly without forcing them and also uh, your switch will be fitted here without problem I have said to avoid loose connections which can cause your switch to grow and your instant shower make sure that your screws have been driven properly and your cables are firm you can confirm by pulling them uh, behind like mine and then after termination you are required to fix or to fit your switch here okay and make sure that your switch your dp switch and your writing switch are in the same level you are not supposed to have a situation whereby one switch is lower than the other they are both supposed to be fitted uh, on the same level something else to note all switches must be mounted at a level of 150 centimeters from the floor considering uh, that is without tiles and the floor okay so 150 is the standard height for the switches okay those are the things to note so from there we are going to screw uh, our switch so there we go Like I have said, make sure that the lighting switch and the DP switch are mounted or fitted on the same level, okay? So we are good to go. From there, you can test if your switch, okay, uh, by switching on the circuit breaker. 
always make sure that before you make any termination to take precautions by switching off the electricity so in this position i switched off my uh instant shower circuit and uh because i'm now through i can switch it on and uh, this is how my switch will be working okay i'm good to go now we now you know that uh one you should choose the best and the correct rating size of the cable for the instant shower 2.5 and above is recommended however i'll stick to 4.0 unless uh it's for the business uh reason you can use 2.0 shower you should strictly go for 45 amperes dp switch okay then uh after that you'll be good to do your dp switch termination from here i'm going to show you uh in our next video how to wire or to terminate an instant shower where we will discuss uh, various factors that makes your switch to be faulty uh, within a very short time on your instant shower whereby you keep replacing your dp switch on your instant sh uh, showers so from today stop using stop using 20 apias dp switch for your instant shower use 45 amperes and trust me you not have an issue of whereby you'll have a 40 switch 45 amperes is the deal and it can uh, withstand the road with your instant shower thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe till next video